All right, here is the British lightweight hopeful Mark Chikasi, and I gotta think, DC, in a video game setting, this dude's gotta be pretty fun to play with. Yes, he does have a lot of varied striking techniques and things that are very good to see on television. So as your button mash, Mark Chikasi's doing jumping double kicks, so he would be a fun guy, but ultimately, you don't get those skills in the video game unless you possess them in right. real life, and Chikasi possesses those striking techniques that allow him to be as exciting as you see him on your television screen right now. Took some of the pressure off with a recent win over Joseph Duffy, Mark Jacasey, back looking for another win here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Even match up here on paper, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Doncaster, England, Mark Bocrusher Casey. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Razor. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Two down the middle. Yeah. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Punch over the top. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. 
Oh, Jacasey gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. He changes the angle, finds the right spot. Beautiful takedown land. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Both fighters get up now. Big leg kick land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, straight right. 15 seconds remain in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Been pretty active. Tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. He blocks the punch. Oh man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, what a just lands him. They get the bonus check set. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Slips that left hand. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. 
crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Ten seconds remain in round two. Oh, and that is it. The referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Oh, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.